This is an illegal border crossing, but these people aren't crossing from Mexico into the United States. They're crossing from the United States into Canada. In the past two years, thousands have crossed illegally into Canada from the U.S. for one purpose, to get arrested so they can claim asylum. To figure out why, we went to the border to talk to the people on the ground, starting with the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Roxham Road, you know, is the area everybody wants to come and visit because it's the highest volume area in our area of operation. But that does not mean that it's the only place that we have northbound activity. Since the 1800s, there's been smuggling activity both directions. But in the past two years, we, we have definitely seen an increase in activity of northbound traffic uh, through our area of operations. We're going to hit a sensor here, so... 640, Charlie One. This is Meridian Road, just one of the many so-called stovepipe roads that butt up against the U.S.-Canadian border. There's also the scar, the cleared area that delineates the official border. 15 feet on one side is Canada, 15 feet on the other side is the United States. There's more than 5,500 miles of border between the two countries, and a lot of it looks like this. And so Canada is right there. Yeah, pretty much this is, uh, you know, right down the center would be considered the, the, the border area, and then um, 15 feet on either side is, it's okay. Canada or U.S. Yeah. Gotcha. For smugglers, places like this are a popular spot to cross. But for asylum seekers, there's another place, Roxham Road. Getting to Roxham is as easy as booking a flight to New York City then taking a bus to the city of Plattsburgh near the Canada-New York border, then getting a taxi to the border, where asylum seekers cross over and are immediately arrested. Okay, it's illegal to cross the border here. Okay, if you cross, you will be arrested. Do you understand that? Sir, come in, sir. Okay, I know you don't understand, but you are under arrest for illegal entry into Canada now. Do you understand? A little bit at peace. Although we weren't able to speak with this family about where they're from or why they're crossing, this same scenario plays out every day here at Roxanne. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol told us a lot of these people crossing into Canada haven't been in the U.S. for that long. They're coming in on tourist visas and heading straight for places like Roxanne. Interceptions by the RCMP at crossings like Roxham have skyrocketed in the past couple years. More than 20,000 people were arrested in 2017 alone. That trend has continued in 2018, with almost 10,000 interceptions already in the first five months. The reasons these people flee their home countries vary from person to person. Some are trying to escape conflict, tearing their homes apart. Others fear persecution at home because of their religion or sexual orientation. And as the U.S. narrows its criteria for who qualifies as a refugee or who can claim asylum, people are increasingly looking toward its northern neighbor for shelter. But there's one thing still standing in their way, the Safe Third Country Agreement. Uh, we have two major objections to it. One is that Canada receives very few refugees and that it is wrong for us to be trying to reduce still further the numbers of people who can get to Canada to, to make a refugee claim. Uh, but the second reason is that the U.S. is not safe for all refugees. This is Janet Dench, executive director of the Canadian Council for Refugees. She, along with the Canadian Council of Churches and Amnesty International, are suing the Canadian government to get rid of the Safe Third Country Agreement. The agreement, inked in 2004 between the U.S. and Canada, essentially means that if you land in the U.S. and want to claim asylum in Canada, or vice versa, you can't. You can only claim asylum in the first country that you land in. We are arguing, of course, that um, the, the government, uh, the, the court must uh, conclude that uh, it is putting refugees' lives at risk if we insist on sending them back to the United States. But the safe third country agreement has a loophole. If someone comes to the U.S. and crosses into Canada illegally and then gets arrested, then Canada has to process their asylum claim. It's part of the reason so many people cross at places like Roxham Road. And for the people living nearby, this has had a big impact. 
I'm a long time resident of Hemingford. We've been here about uh, 40 years. Uh, moved to the country not thinking a whole lot about living so close to the border and the implications that that might have down the line. As you keep going along this road, it, it, it continues into the States. It's Roxham Road right into the States, but now there's that, that barrier there. And so life has really changed for people, particularly living along this road. This is Frances Ravensburg. She's part of a local refugee support group called Bridges Not Borders. She lives in Hemingford, Quebec, which is right on the other side of the border where Roxham ends. As the number of asylum seekers spiked, Frances and the other members of her group mobilized to support those crossing the border. So it's a bit of an odd situation that we're in with, you know, so many millions of people who need a home. And, and in Canada, people are making a huge deal over accepting such a small number of people coming into the country. So you don't think Canada is doing enough? Oh no, absolutely not. I mean, our rates of accepting people coming over irregularly at the border um, is just a little bit higher than it was around 2001. We, we don't even come down to this part all that often. We just let the RCMP do their thing and, and respect that. I think it's even trying to take the focus away from Roxham Road and put the focus on the situation because it, it's Roxham Road. It could be any road across the country. It's the reality of people who have nowhere to go, who are homeless and need to be accepted somewhere. And their story of finding, trying to find some acceptance and a place that they can actually call home.